Hello, Leo, and welcome to your August 2024 monthly energy reading. Let's jump right into this. So the very first thing that I thought when I saw your car combination combination come out is, uh oh, um, I constantly get this energy from you, Leo, that you have multiple people that there's never really a door closed on something and somebody always wants to come back and show you this and show you that. And judging by the very first card that has come out in your energy, um, it looks like it's the same old, same old. So there is an energy from your past with this six of cups that wants to come out in this energy around you. Um, you may get a phone call from an individual um, out the blue, but this is par for the course because the majority of this entire month, I can't even say the majority, this entire month, we've been retrograde. So um, it's right now we're retrograde in Leo at the beginning of the month. Um, we were retrograde in Virgo. So we started out in Virgo, then we went back into your sign, which is always a fun thing. So with that being said, there could have been some type of breakup. Six of Cups talks about nostalgia, childhood, memories, um, innocence, joy. You know, um, this is definitely from the past reflecting. You could be in this or someone is external to you thinking about you, um, reconnecting with the past, you know, warm and fuzzy on the inside. Whenever I see a King of Cups, I always know that he wants to make an offer. Someone wants to come back and share their love with you, for you, to you. Emotional balance, compassion, wisdom, so forth. Um, someone really has feelings. You could be thinking about someone. Please remember that this is Mercury retrograde. It doesn't necessarily mean that every single person that comes back has bad intentions. But anytime a planet is retrograde, it brings forth the, these um revelations and then they fall by the wayside so um someone from the past definitely wants to come back and what i am judging by looking at this queen of swords this is someone that you have blocked put on ice or you have not been speaking with that often um the king the queen of swords is space truth i mean i'm feeling like this you put this person in their place and you're like uh -uh, i'm not dealing with you um she doesn't like the lies tricks cheats and deceits and so you put you got somebody told leo and now this person um and, and it is in the heart place of the read in this king of cups so they never stop loving you they may reach out and say that or vice versa spirit oh look at that I'm going to place this back inside of the deck. It was the queen of pentacles. Spirit clarify six of cups, king of cups, queen of swords for Leo. What do we have? We have the fool. Yep. This is our first major arcana that's clarifying. There are no major arcanas looking at this in the actual reading. So, this is definitely indicative of somebody wanting to come back. The fool indicates new beginnings. It is the beginning, the beginning of something. Let's let's reset this. Let's let's start from the beginning. It's it's the first major arcana in the fool's journey. It is new beginnings. Um, it's not even numbered. It is zero, infinite or limited possibilities. Fresh starts. Okay, a new phase, a beginning phase time to embrace the change with open arms let's step outside of the comfort zone let's walk you know forward and trusting you know our own potential this person really wants to do that stop worrying about the future you know let's have fun right now I don't know if you're up for that I don't know it could be a nudge to live spontaneously um, you know, but I think that someone wants to come back in is how I am interpreting this. OK, um, not only do they want to come back in and make a love emotional offer, there is an ace of pentacles. So it could be that this person wants to, um, you know, make or want you guys to go back and have a fresh start. And this time they want to move in. They want to take the relationship to the next level rather quickly. Um, for others of you, if it is not the relationship story, then you're going to receive some type of new job, new opportunity to make money. I do like that. However, what puts a damper on this energy 
is the card that's in your heart place. So we lead with nostalgia. Our heart place shows the five of swords and we we end with the damn four of pentacles. So I don't like this energy di that's, you know, diagonal. I feel like from the lead to the heart to the end, on the inside, you start out one way, but I think ultimately you've been fighting. A five of swords is not the necessary, the, the greatest energy. Someone else wants to come in and you could be fighting someone else. Um, but this is conflict. You're in conflict with someone that you have, it has a heart tie. So someone in your energy, you have a damn conflict with. Someone else from the past wants to come back. And what you could be focused on is the current situation that you have in front of you, which is who you want this relationship with or who you want this new beginning with. You're not even thinking about the rear view. And, you know, you could be getting hit up right now, Leo, and your focus is on this person that you're conflicting with in your past that's giving you a, cra a great deal of damn anxiety this month. That's where you are. And I think that maybe you're looking at this as more of an annoyance to have to be going through all of this with someone that is constantly making you feel like it's lies, tricks, cheats, the, the, the deceits, conflict, betrayal, and competition. It's tension, it's stress, um, it's all types of uh, confrontations and disputes. And you're looking at the rear view like, okay, well, this person wants to do such and such. And I'm around here arguing with you. Are you serious? Like, you've lost a, gr a great deal of sleep on this. I'm just letting you know, okay? A great deal of sleep. Clarify Ace of Pentacles, Five of uh, Swords in the Heart and Nine of Swords energy. Um, it's causing you a great deal of anxiety. That's kind of where your heart is wrapped up in this situation. For others of you, if this is not a relationship it definitely is money concerns right now leo okay can we get the card out spirit and there is a secretive energy here or okay there we go page of pentacles um that card did not want to come out page of pentacles yes yeah, so oh and look at the top five of pentacles I'm, i haven't been reading the tops but that makes sense so you already are dealing with feeling left out in the cold or feeling like you're dealing with some adversity when it comes down to either a commitment with this individual or just you feel like there's been enough conflict in your life with other things that you're dealing with as far as financial. You don't really have time. Um, Page of Pentacles is, indi is indicating to me that maybe some of you guys are. Um, we're going to double down on this energy for a job for a second. Um, some of you guys are going to be hearing something from a job if you are looking for a job because there's been some type of um, um, financial heart upsets. We're going to call it upsets. Um, there could be some type of health uh, thing that comes up this month too. I do apologize. One of the things that I do like about the Page of Pentacles is not only a job offer, there is going to be some training involved. I mean, just about every job is going to want to train you. But this feels like new opportunities as far as realms of career, education, personal development. Maybe you're getting certificates. Maybe you're going back to school and getting some, you know, whatever it is, you're trying to up the ante on the finances. Going back to the relationship uh, situation, some of you guys are dealing with this situation. You're already feeling left out in the cold. Um, you already have a, enough going on and the past still is in your ear. You're comparing the past and you're dealing with the present and you're trying to make a damn decision. And you're just like, I don't have time for this. OK, no major arcanas right there. Let's move on to the end of this. We're looking at the nine of cups. So if we read this down, we already have, OK, our past coming back. We already have, you know, those nostalgic feelings. We already have someone from the past trying to give us a commitment. And now they're letting us know that we are, that they're letting you know that you're the wish. We're leading that uh, role with the, um, the nine of cups. And someone is definitely landed on thick, Leo. Like you, it, I miss you, blah, blah, blah. Listen, like at the end of the day, this is satisfaction and contentment, fulfillment, pleasure. Um, this is my sex card and the good sex card. So you're not denying that it was good. You're not denying that you may not even miss this person. But I think 
when I'm looking at the page of swords with this next card next to that, I'm tying it back to the queen of swords. And I'm also tying it back to this five of swords in the heart place. So you put that person on ice. You already, this is already a person that you have not been speaking with. So now it's coming out that you haven't taken this person that serious because, oh, and I'm also tying it back to that nine of swords as well. Nine, the five of swords, nine of swords, queen of swords. So it's like, look, you could be focused on money. Let's talk about the money situation for a second. And this person is coming back. If the money situation is more what you're, what, what resonates with you, you don't want to go back in the past with this person because this person is a pest. They're immature. They spy. They don't know how to communicate. They're always up in your grill, always worried about what you're doing and not really paying attention to what the hell they're supposed to do. And if we take it one step further and tie that four of pentacles into it at the end, they have an inability of looking at the bigger picture. They're stingy. They're selfish. You know, they want to possess, so forth and so on. And I feel like that's for you. For those of you, if this is a relationship, okay, so again, you're focused on the relationship that you're already dealing with. You don't have time for this other stuff. Now, the past, you know, you're acknowledging that they had a good little thing happening or whatever. But at the end of the day, you're dealing with in struggles right now. You're already losing sleep over this other stuff that you have going on in this relationship. So you may be entertaining it or giving it, you know, you're definitely thinking about it, but I don't think you're taking this seriously. Right now, you're focused on improving communication with an immature person that's in your life. You're focused on trying to be resourceful, especially if I'm going to say, obviously, if this is a money issue or a relationship issue, and I'm feeling like it's kind of both for some of you guys, your focus is this four of pentacles. You're trying to account for every damn dime that's coming out. You don't have time to be playing these games. Um, you know, you could have recently um, experienced some things, but financially, like I've already said, but you are in an energy right now of trying to manage your money wisely. You're saving, you're planning for the future. You probably are going into new career opportunities, training, going back to school. And honestly, dealing with some old stuff when you're still trying to deal with the stuff that's in front of you may just not be appealing to you. It may not just be what you're focused on. It may not be your cup of tea right now, okay? Let's go ahead and get a clarifying energy for these three cards. Um, no major arcana, so it's anybody's game here. The only thing that, before I get this major arcana and close this, in, this reading out with spiritual advice, the only thing that is here that has came out, come out for Major Arcana is the fool. So the only thing that remains, no matter whether none of this stuff resonates, is that newness is on its way, Leo. Period, point blank. Okay. Clarify nine of cups, page of swords, and four of pentacles. Someone didn't, didn't want to tell you, help you, but want to spy, want to make sure Focus on what you're doing and where you're doing, but not trying to really give what they need to give. Page of Pentacles is right back out. OMG. Oh, my goodness. So we're right back to the Page of Pentacles. This is a card that keeps coming out. So some of you guys, again, we're doubling down on um, newness. Someone, someone, whether it be suitors or exes from the past or new jobs or whatever it is, all that's coming in. Thirst for knowledge, you guys are, you know, um, setting a, a solid foundation to be open to learn new skills. You're trying to change your life right now, Leo. You really don't have time for the BS from these um, these exes. Um, I think you're focused on trying to repair the relationship that's in front of you. You're either going to stay or you're going to go. And then that's it. You just want to focus on, um, getting your job, getting your ducks in a row and doing what you have to do. Okay, let's go ahead and um, get your spiritual advice for the month and I'll close the reading out. Wow. You're definitely dealing with uh, a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. We do have a considerable amount of air sign cards, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Um, and of course, the most important cards here, the Ace of Pentacles, which something is coming in new. Again, 
page of pentacles twice ace of pentacles twice congratulations okay give me spiritual advice for the month of august for leo please beautiful energy but annoying i feel it like it's just like look um someone definitely is trying to keep up with you spying but with all these pages that's coming out if you're dealing with somebody they're definitely not on the same page as you i'm just gonna put it out there they're not on the same page with you financially okay come on spiritual advice for leos thank you we have higher font and something just fell give me a second what was that all my cards keep falling in this box i don't understand why and the seven of cups see here we go all right <laughs> wow we're gonna start off with the major arcana so we do have two major arcanas now the fool is already out and then the hierophant hierophant is coming up in a um, spiritual advice position and this is advising you again this is tradition you are traditional this signifies um, um, a time for you to reach out to people who you trust um, tarot readers mentors a, a person of the cloth you are fixed, Leo, and you are into following tried and true methods. You don't got time for any of this extra stuff. I think that this goes down to your money. This is a, um, um, again, this probably is going to resonate with you more if you are a Leo that has some Taurus somewhere. Listen, you're like, look, this is the way it is. This is what I, this is what you should do. You do this, we do this, you you know, it could be something as simple as we save money, we pay bills, we do this. Whatever it is, this is definitely not what's around you right now. And I think that you're about to really um, speak to someone um, and you're confiding in someone right now. Um, but from a spiritual advice um, uh, perspective, I think that this is definitely um, doubling down on your spiritual and religious structures, like how you look at things and um, establish values. And you're not breaking from that. So double down on that. This is a, a major arcana. You know, um, you are really maybe maturing a little bit more and you really don't have time for all of the garbage. And I think that right now you're just trying to be a little bit more spiritual and you're looking for something a little bit more traditional. This is looking like, um, you know, those of you who are getting older and you just don't want to play the games. And it's it's cool to have fun with the person that you're with, but it's feeling like you're really settling into trying to be a little bit more traditional moving forward in your life and your dealings, Leo. OK, and then finally, we do have the seven of cups. I think that. When it comes down to this seven of cups, this is the card of wishful thinking. Oh, and you can't really make a damn decision with a seven of cups because you have too many options. It's that Fiona Apple line. I can't decide. There's too many variations to consider, you know, choices, illusions, imagination. You know, I, I think that from a spiritual advice perspective, <laughs> wow, it, it's probably warning you. I think I feel like it's. You're faced with numeral choice, numerous choices and an unlimited amount of, of, of illusions, basically. I'm not going to say everything is an illusion. I'll say potential illusion. Um, and you may be overwhelmed. Multiple jobs coming at you, multiple opportunities to make money, um, different advice from different people, um, and like all of these people coming back. So, you know, remember in this particular cup i mean in this card there is a whole lot and i don't need you to have analysis paralysis trying to figure out what's going on i mean that card got snakes it got true love it got all types of stuff in it so you know choose wisely i think the spiritual advice um for this card is to just distinguish between what is real and what is fake distinguish between realistic opportunities and deceptive fantasies i like that all right, so no major arcana visually, but we do have the fool and the hierophant that remains. So I think no matter what, new opportunities are here and there is a opportunity for you to step into a more traditional path that is more aligned with your wants, needs, and desires. 
Like, share, subscribe to The Marvelous Tribe. It's always a pleasure to read your energy, Leo. I will see you next month when we do it again. Bye, guys.